and welcome to Algo Trading. Today I am going to tell you how to use graphics or the Python code to visualize a decision tree. Open your new Jupyter notebook and let's get started. I have been using Python 3.7 and a Jupyter notebook. Before that, a little bit about graphics. Graphics is a open source library that, that is used your processed files. It looks like this. If you want to know more about graphics, you can just go through this file. And you can import this graphic from sklearn.tree. Okay, so let's start it here. Let's start here. So first thing you have to import the data and I'm using the data as Irish data. So if you can see, if you see here, I'm uh, importing the Irish data from sklearn data set. So sklearn has already added a lot of data set inside it. If you go to here, the official website of SkyKit Learn, if you see a lot of data sets are here, here, Boston house price data set, we are using this Iris Planet data set and uh, diabetes data set at all. All right. So I'm just, uh, you know, uh, importing that Iris data set to my Jupyter notebook. And if you really want to see how it looks like, so what I did, I just downloaded the data set into my local drive and I'm importing and I'm showing the first, you uh, know, first five row of the data set to see how it looks like. So um, I'm just showing it. See, this is how it looks like this Irish data set, which is there in Escalon. If you if you want to see here also, you can see um, uh, this one. Okay, here this one, the same thing here. So I am I am showing it here. You can just check it here. See, um, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width. And uh, these four is my X variable and uh, my Y variable species. So um, then what I need to do, I need to, uh, you know, import tree from SQL and I'm, uh, and I'm uh, trying to fit, uh, you know, the decision tree classifier with my data, which is my feature for feature and the target, which is my Y variable, right? And the next step is you just import graphics and then you, you are creating a variable called dot data and then we are putting this tree dot export graphics and then you need to put these hyper parameters. Okay. So and the default is the index. So then you are putting a graph equal to graphics dot source dot data. That's it. This two line of code will, uh, you know, create your graph. Now, if you want to see the graph decision tree, how it looks like, just enter and then oh uh, i think i have not run this okay i just run it here um so run it run it and run it and now you can see this is how it looks like okay this is a decision tree looks like so it start with petal length so this one is here okay so uh, I know this is how it looks like. So if you ask me why it start with petal length, then there is another uh, video I'm going to uh, create that you know how you, you how you read the decision tree. Basically, uh, say this is this this is Gini index, and uh, you know the Gini in the highest. So so basically, what it does is basically it it will calculate the Gini index for each features, and the highest features of Gini index will be the root node. This is the root node petal length. If you see 0 0.667, this is the highest one, and all the Gini with zero will be the um, leaf node. If you hear this one, so all the leaf node one here, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, and nine. All this nine leaf node is Gini zero. So basically, uh, I mean the root node. Uh, will be the highest Gini index value and the uh, leaf node will be the lowest which is zero Gini index. So that for that I will you know explain you in a separate slide I mean separate uh, video altogether you know what is Gini index and uh, you know there are also information gain entropy and all kind of things. 
So the main intention of this video is to just to show you what is the Python code and how you can use graphics to um, visualize a decision tree. That's it. And uh, if you want to, you know, export this whole tree into a PDF file or something like that, then you can put this render files and you run this code. And uh, wherever you have, uh, you know, your Jupyter notebook file, you will get a PDF file there. So if I, if you see. Uh, in this folder it has been created I open this and now I can see it here okay so this is how you export the whole decision tree into a PDF format as well alright guys I think this is a very uh, straightforward and very small video just to show you uh, you know how to use graphics and uh, the Python code to visualize a decision tree thank you so much and uh, I hope you guys have already uh, installed graphics if you have not installed graphics yet you have to uh, see my um, you know the, another video where i have explained how to you know uh, install graphics okay thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe like and comment in my uh, videos thank you so much i will come and put comment if you want to uh, if, if you have any uh, specific problem probably i can create a video on that as well thank you so much for that and uh, have a great day thank you